Hey guys, King Gath here with some mod news. Today we've got a few small add-on packs to talk about. We've of course got city plan stuff to talk about, and I want to talk a little bit about the upcoming patch for SS2 and Workshop Framework. So of course, before we get into all that, we always got to thank our patrons. So let's give a shout out to a handful of folks who have joined up recently to support the project. You guys are amazing. And you have been joining in droves. I am very far behind. So I'm going to name off a few of you, a few more of you than usual. And part of that is because uh, I have been making as many videos because we're on a little bit of a long patch schedule right now, which, like I said, we'll talk about shortly. Um, so I'm going to give a shout out to a handful of you. If I didn't get to you today, don't worry, I will get to you in that uh, patch video, which should be just a few days away. So a huge shout out and thanks to Jeremiah Wilson, Jack. Fimbulventure, there's my, there's a butcher of the week, one of at least, <laughs> Liffy Red, Sky, Sean Laverty, Jordan Hoyle, Geek Zolda, Sirius Coma, Karen Bester, Rec Adsley, and Annabelle V. Thank you all, and thank you everybody else who's been contributing in various ways. You guys are awesome, you keep the lights on around here, make sure that uh, none of us have to dip into our pockets to cover various expenses that come up and let us keep making cool stuff for way longer than I ever anticipated we'd be doing. Uh, so let's talk about some of that. So I wanna talk about the 2.3.2 patch, which should be coming out this week on Friday, barring any uh, issues. And this represents the last pre-chapter three patch. Now that might get you excited, might, might have you thinking that uh, chapter three is any day now, but that is not in fact the case. Uh, those of you who have been around the Sim Settlements community for a while know that I kind of just disappear for a month or two before a expansion comes out, and this time might be a little longer than the previous times, and that is because there's a lot of code that I need to change in the core mod in order to facilitate new features in the expansion, and I don't want to do it in live patches and risk breaking all of your saves. Rather do, if there's gonna be any breaking, I'd rather do it on the 3.0 day, so that way those of you guys who are nervous about it can just hold off, give, give everybody else a few days to dive in on launch and try it out. We are gonna do a much more thorough testing phase than we have in the past, and so far, I think uh, we've got a good track record. We haven't broken anybody's saves. At worst, we've just had some launch bugs that prevented uh, say some quests from getting completed and then we worked those out. So I don't think we have to worry about that, but just in case, I don't like to do any major under the hood changes during normal patch cycles because there's just not enough time during a normal patch cycle to give thorough testing. So we are gonna be doing extensive testing on those changes. We've got a nice a beta team and we're gonna open up beta and alpha to uh, a much bigger audience this time. Um, so we should uh, not have those issues, but again, I'm gonna just play it safe. We're gonna focus on uh, code silently with no patches for a couple of months after this next one. So 2.3.2 is going to be our biggest bug fix patch ever. It uh, it has a, been a massive undertaking of uh, attacking issues that have been sitting dormant on our list for a long time and finally have found the time or made the time to address those. So you guys should, should see a ton of fixes to random little uh, idiot issues that I should have dealt with a long time ago that didn't get to just to do overwhelming schedules. And uh, I think you guys are gonna appreciate this next patch should make the the playthroughs a lot, lot smoother, which is gonna be good for when we launch chapter three, because I think that inevitably will bring a lot of folks back to start new playthroughs. And so having them have a nice smooth experience is, uh, is gonna be a win. So the 2.3.2 patch and the 2.3.5 patch workshop framework are going to be our last patch for some months. And uh, that will there will be an exception for hotfix. So if you guys find additional issues in that patch that are deal breakers, you know, these things that are causing uh, uh, unplayability in the mod, um, I will, uh, of course, hotfix those. So we'll keep a code base aside so that we can do that, and then we won't uh, be completely locked out of patching. I just have some pretty massive code changes coming. I think you guys are, are going to appreciate um, a lot of, lot of cool stuff coming with uh, 3.0 and Chapter 3. All right, so now let's talk about some stuff you guys have been up to in the community. We've got a handful of small little add-ons, some things that change stuff about uh, SS2 and uh, some some layouts for Workshop Framework. So uh, first up, we've got one that I missed that was uh, released, I think, uh, back in back in last year, and it just just never got on my radar. Um, or maybe I did hit it, but somebody pointed out to me recently, and I don't remember uh, ever pointing this one out, but we've got a mod called Brahmin Variations for Sim Settlements 2. This is by uh, MASTI80, and uh, this basically changes out the uh, different Brahmins, especially on our 
uh, on our Brahmin farm plot, the three by three, and uh, allows for uh, some variation in their skins so it doesn't get the same boring Brahmin over and over again. And I assume it also tackles our um, Caravan Services. I just drew a blank on the name of the class. Caravan Services as well, and basically just gives us some more options for the way the Brahmin looks. So uh, go check that out. And next we have CPD have police weapons by Space Droner. And this will basically modify the uh, the leveled list for your CPD that spawn um, to make use from some of the guns from another one's police weapon pack. So this is kind of a, uh, a, a patch mod to bring in another mod you guys might have to uh, increase the, the variability in what the CPD use. So if you're a big uh, police fan, this would be a nice little patch mod for you. And then last but not least, we have uh, WSFWS's two random layouts aboard by uh, Aurelianus. I'm going to butcher that name. <laughs> We've got to do a couple of butchers of the week. And this is going to add some workshop framework layouts. Uh, this has got, I think, 16 uh, at this point. I don't know if she's planning on adding additional. Uh, but basically, they're simple layouts to get you up and running quickly. So unlike city plans where you're going to uh, have things evolving over time, uh, this is just the quick quick and easy workshop framework layouts that you can quickly slap down uh, and get a, uh, a basic settlement up and running really quickly. I imagine these are going to be perfect for folks that don't have uh, high-end systems. If you're running on a potato and you want to just quickly get the kind of the basics, similar to our, our SS2 basic city plans. I think this is going to gonna fill that niche for you. So go check out WSFW SS2 random layouts. All right, now the last thing we got to talk about today is, of course, the city plan contest. So as you guys know, we had a break in December and January, which means we don't have a winner to announce for last month because there wasn't a contest that and just ended. Instead, we had one uh, just running throughout February. Now, there's not going to be a winner announced next month either because uh, we are giving a massive extension to the folks who competed in February's contest for Fairline Hills because there was a major technical glitch and it was with our web tool, which generates the plugin files for workshop framework layouts or city plans. And basically, it just doesn't work well with ESL settlements, or rather, it didn't. I have since fixed that issue. So those of you guys who found that when you made those plugins, they wouldn't scrap correctly. So when you went and used and tested your city plan or layout and things didn't scrap as you expected, that should be resolved now. It was just a problem with the web tool. So because of that glitch, we've given folks who are entering the Fairline Hills contest a full month of uh, time to to go back and fix those those issues that they had they can now correctly export and test their settlement using the web tool and we'll give them plenty of extra time to work on that but for those of you guys who aren't entering or who were basically done and just needed the uh, web tool to generate their final entry we are going to do that march contest as well but uh, those of you guys who are still working on fairline hills don't feel pressured you don't have to rush over and try and do both but if you want to feel free uh, so i'm about to announce the uh, march contest and it's a good thing that we fixed the web tool for working with ESL settlements because we've got another one for you guys. We're going to continue with this uh, with this premise of using mod created settlements. Again, we're going with those that are created by folks who are associated with or on the Sim Settlements team so that uh, they can uh, take care of issues with the settlement that crop up in real time. And so we are going with the Crater of Atoms. So we'll finally have a settlement out in the glowing sea with some Sim Settlement support. So you guys can go download that now and uh, grab the latest update to the contest helper plugin and you will be able to uh, get into the city plan contest. If you've never joined the contest before, it's very easy. Basically just design a settlement with some settlements too in mind, lots of plots, and, uh, and then you export that and then you delete a few things, export it again and just keep doing that until you got your levels. It's a real easy process. I've got a five minute video on my channel on how you can do that. We've got a ton of support to help you get started in the community. A lot of folks who've been competing in this contest for literally years now who are happy to, to uh, help out folks who are new to it. So we'd love to see you guys, more of you guys join up. We've got fantastic prize support for the contest and uh, yeah, another new settlement that could uh, use some designer love. All right, guys, that is all for me. Take care and enjoy the mods.